Ready and action. Welcome to a little peef I like to call Bang, Crash, Boom. The trickiest part of an action movie like this is the special effects. That's the stuff the movie people do to make things that didn't really happen look like they really did. Brilliant. I can see this is going to be informative. The trickiest part of making a movie like this is where you and I come in, the animation process. When they shoot a scene with cartoon characters in it, they really can't afford to have us there until everything else is right. Remember this scene? Oh, that's a good one. Yes, it's always high comedy when the duck loses an eyeball or two. Nevertheless, some stars of my magnitude and the rabbits are expensive. The studios film the scenes with the human actors first, cause they're cheaper. But the actors have to pretend we're there, like this. Those aren't my real eyeballs. And one of the things that makes it easier for Jenna and all the actors to pretend is our very talented puppeteer, Bruce Lenoyle. Having these guys on set, having these these rudimentary but but effective, thank you, puppets. I think he just uh, called you rude, uh, Bugs. There's a different, different look in the eye, you know? There's something there, there's something to play off of, and it shows in a performance. Once we, we do a, a pass with these guys, they know exactly where the puppets are in space. Brendan and Jenna are, are brilliant at that. The next step is to shoot a scene with the puppets so the actors know where we'll be when the animators draw us in later. Then the puppets get out of the way and the actors do it without us, but with our voices. Why, Mr. Bunny? That's some grip lady. Hey, that guy sounds just like me. Almost. It's uncanny. You stickable. Next. Okay, let's explain how they do something like the water tower scene. You mean this? They find an aging water tower at a movie studio somewhere, paint the Warner Brothers logo on it, and drive a Batmobile or two into it until it falls over, isn't it obvious? Actually, Daffy, stuff like the water tower sequence is done by our visual effects crew. Oh, there's visual effects supervisor Chris Watts. Um, what's up, Watts? We have a fifth-scale miniature here of the water tower. It's about uh, 25 feet tall and it'll be filled up with water, and when the moment comes, we'll pull a few cables and the thing will come tumbling down. Wow! You guys better get this right the first time, because you sure can't do it twice. So, Chris, how'd you get this whole process started? We started out by making some pre-visualization uh, that is basically like a, almost like a cartoon of what's going to happen during this scene. We mess around with that for a while until we get it in a place where everybody likes it. And then, uh, and then once we have it where we like it, we uh, go ahead and shoot the real thing. Let's cut to the action! Action! <laughs> One last suggestion, Chris. Since you got an extra water tower and all, wouldn't it be funnier next time if it fell on the duck? I don't actually hate that at all. You know, all the visual <laughs> effects in this movie aren't as complicated as that water tower deal, but they all have to be figured out before they get filmed. How would you guess they did that bit where Brendan and Jenna jumped off the Eiffel Tower? I happen to know that was done with puppets. Merci. Ha! Merci. Ha! Actually, that was stunt people. Remember the gag when you went butt foist into the fire extinguisher and it exploded? Certainly, that was all done by computer. Wrong again, Daffy. That was done the old fashioned way, with a little know how and a giant garbage bag full of foam. On sale, two for the price of one at Foam Depot. And you remember when you got shot through the door at the casino? You know how they made that hole in the door? I happen to know they drew that in afterwards. Euro for three. The special effects people have to build and practice everything you see in the movie that's not exactly what it appears to be. From water pouring down to water splashing up. Whenever something's supposed to break in the movie, the special effects guys have to break it first. Let's move on. 
<laughs> All right, Daffy. Let's look at a different kind of animation that was also used in the picture. First, they practiced, and then they did the whole thing in front of a blue screen where the characters would be drawn in later. Hmm, kind of seems like cheating when you do it that way. I mean, where's the puppet? At the same time, we're filming the scenes for the live-action part of the movie. The animators are hard at work, drawing and designing their piece of the puzzle. Ooh, I love puzzles. <gasps> Is there a prize? Um, it's not that kind of puzzle, Dev. For example, here's how a scene looks when they shoot it. Right! I mean left! What is this? Mime school? Where's me? Then they had a rough black and white pose drawing to block in the attitudes and positions. I thought I looked a little underdone there. Then they do all the animation drawings, clean it up, color it, light it, and high presto, we're in the flesh. And all it took was six years and a million artists for three seconds of film. Not quite, but uh, you get the idea. Not only do the live actors in a scene have to react to the cartoons, but the props and set dressings are affected as well. Even something as simple as holding a menu and moving a drink umbrella has to be rehoist. Here's what the rough animation looks like over the scene. But when they shot it, Matthew Lillard had to pretend he was talking to Shaggy and Scooby if you like goof on me in the sequel, I'm coming after you. Yeah, then I'll give you a Scooby Smack. <laughs> Just like Jenna had to pretend she was talking to me. I'm trying to be nice, but I was brought in to leverage your synergy, and I, I know how she feels. I have to pretend to pay attention to you every day. Well, viewers, that wraps up our little special effects tour. I hope the information I've given you, most of which was wrong, film snob, I hope it has been informative and entertaining. Infotaining, if you will. <laughs> uh, but before you go, there's one more special effect I'd like to show you. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist death. Pickable.